Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, men and women. This is a transformations in love. How is your love life transforming? All right, let's see what's going on. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. Thanks for dropping in. See what's going on. All right. Get those behind out of the way. Here we go. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, men and women. What's coming in in love? What's transforming in the love lives of the Capricorn viewers? Transformations in love and romance for Capricorn. What do they need to know? Transformations in love and romance for Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles, that's what's transforming. Something solid. Something grounded. Beautiful. What is with all this positive energy? Oh, somebody's thinking about commitment, making things solid. They could be a Virgo. This person could be have lots of money. Somebody might be looking at you, seeing you as somebody very solid, very practical. Uh, you got it all going on. Yeah, someone's changing how they think about you. They're going through a transformation in how they see you and what they want. They see you as this. Uh-huh. Six of Wands. Yes. This person wants success. They see you as very successful, having, getting it all together. They're changing the way they think about you. They want to come in and give you some attention. They want a victory. Somebody's changing the way they the way they are. Maybe they were always out getting attention from lots of people, but they're pointed right at being stable with you. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We got Sagittarius energy, Virgo energy. Could be anyone though, Scorpio. Yeah, this person's anxious. They want to come in. I feel like... Um, Got to be careful with this energy because sometimes people come rushing in to get attention. Uh, I feel like they want to give you lots of attention. They want to hurry up because they see this. They want to rush toward, you know, they want this. Uh, I feel if this is an X for some of you, maybe they were indecisive in the past. They're not. No, somebody's rushing towards you. They're ready for love. They see this nurturing. Yeah, this person's eager to share their love with you. They see you as very nurturing. They're changing the way they view you, the way they see you. And if this is a new person, they're contemplating you. They're going within. Yeah, they see you as successful. They want success. They're anxious to get moving toward. They want some of your loving and nurturing Capricorn. They could be also be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio themselves wanting some love looking deep within knowing that they're ready they've gone through a lot of changes they may now be ready for love and they'd be in need of some some tender loving care yeah they see you that way and they're coming for it look at that yeah they they want to have success somebody sees you as very successful yeah they see you as the as the king of pentacles doesn't have to be a man. This can be a woman. They see you as somebody solid, grounded, very practical. Yeah. Capricorn. My goodness. These readings are just so amazing. The new year is going to be good for a lot of people. Yep, here they are coming in. They're... This person moves slowly, okay? They've been thinking about you for a while. Uh, they want to do the right thing. They want to take their time. So whoever they are, they want to take their time with you. They could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but, you know, really it's all about the energy. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's ready for a victory. They want a victory here. Yeah, somebody wants to do the right thing. If you had somebody you ended things with, they've gone through a lot of changes. They've gone very deep within. Um, this person's ready for love. I feel like 
they see you differently. They're looking at you in a whole different light. They're eager to come forward and get some of your tender, loving care, Capricorn. Yeah, they see you as very stable, very grounded, very practical, very successful. They want to, I feel like they want to give you lots of attention. They're looking at that too. Maybe in the past, if it's an ex, they didn't give you a lot of attention. It, this could very well be a new person who's been watching you from a distance and they're trying to get the courage up. They will eventually and they're going to come charging in quick. One more card. Ah, yes. Yeah, this person's trying to get some truth. They, I feel like they're asking things possibly even about you. It's a victory here. They see you as a victory. They want to come towards you. They want to do the right thing. They've been taking their time. I feel like they're Earth as well. Some of you, it is a Virgo. Some of you, it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got Sag and Pisces, strong Pisces in this reading. This person may have been getting some tarot card readings or some spiritual advice, but they're trusting their intuition and they want to come in. They want this victory. They want this love and this... They may be coming to lavish their attention on you and give you the love and uh, care that you need, the nurturing. Because this is somebody who is looking deep within and they, they really do want love. They want to be nurtured. Um, and I feel like they're looking at you differently and they see you as that person. It's, it's about giving and receiving it, right? Some of you could be working in the healthcare industry. Look at that, King and Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's love here. You both feel the same way. You both, whoever this is, new or old, somebody is getting ready to come. Uh, once they do, you're not, you know, they're just charging forward towards this. They're e eager and impatient and anxious. They're trying to trust their intuition here to tell them the truth. And this is the truth. This is the victory is the two of you coming together for love, nurturing and loving each other. Wow, crazy. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, what's going on? Yep, look at that. Someone else got this. Somebody from the past, possibly, a past connection. Or it's somebody who's very sweet on you, all right? They have very sweet feelings. Somebody may, ooh, somebody sees some stability here in connecting with you. Definitely reconciliation kind of energy for many some of you they're just very sweet on you they really they have sweet memories you might have known this person like right from childhood some of you don't assume it's an ex get rid of that negative energy think positive tell me about this and this hermit doesn't have to be a virgo either tell me about this hermit they could be a scorpio too yeah, this person sees you as a wish come true. Yeah, they're thinking about granting you a wish or they see you as a wish come true, as a gift. This person's thinking about offering you up that cup. Look at that. Yeah, they're going to make you an offer. Oh, these cards just want to fly out like crazy. Yeah, look at that. Somebody's ending the burdens of getting attention all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I, I think this person thinks you get a lot of attention. That burdens them a bit because some of you, maybe you're very popular, you get lots. It makes them anxious and impatient to come rushing in because it does burden them a lot. So some of you are very popular and, uh, you know, some of you may actually have two people to choose from reconciliation for some of you tell me about i feel like this person sees you get a lot of attention because you're very stable very grounded very practical all right capricorn that's the way you are and that's the way you come across very earthy tell me about this knight of pentacles or pardon me this knight of swords why is he rushing in is this knight of swords here
Yeah. Ah, this person's really, they're almost in pain here. Yeah, they're really anxious. This person may have been in and out. They may have hurt you in the past, hurt your feelings. Or maybe they're worried they're going to get their feelings hurt or their heart broke. So they're a bit indecisive. But I, they're coming anyway, regardless. I feel like they're worried. They're indecisive. They're afraid there's going to be someone else and they're going to get their heart broken. All right, Capricorn. But there is some love here. Uh, you're going to nurture each other. Give each other the love and what you need to make this stable. You're going to... This person really... Uh, really is very much burdened. So any of you who are watching this, if you're very popular or you get a lot of attention when you go out or you just have, you know, if you're a woman and have lots of guy friends and a man of lots of girlfriends that are just friends, they're burdened by this, okay? It weighs on them. They're, they want to rush in. They're anxious and impatient uh, because they don't want you to get away. I can see that too, but they're also burdened. They're afraid they're going to get their heart broken, Okay. Like these cards just want to come flying out. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, this person's trying to make this decision. Yeah, I got a choice between which path to take to make this stable, uh, to make this committed. Which is the path to make this like that, the truth. Look at all these cards that have come out. I'm getting like very similar cards for all the reads in this transformation energy. Uh, it's also telling you if you don't have anyone, you're about to go through some changes and transformations if you get yourselves out there. This is the thing, right? Here's the, somebody is cutting somebody out. Somebody's coming in to clear things up about their beliefs and their traditions. You possibly have been sitting on the fence, all right? trying to decide which way to go and I feel like this is somebody who is coming charging in impatient scared to get hurt they don't know which way to approach you what to say uh, but you're and I feel like it's both of you you're both on the fence waiting uh, trying to figure out which way to go it's a choice between two directions two paths okay yeah some of you get are getting a lot of attention you're going to get some invitations but this person wants they're cutting out another relationship to come towards you or they're coming in to tell you some truth about their the, what they want. Okay, this is a victory. This is going to be a commitment. This is where it's going to lead. That's the path. Somebody's thinking about it. Yeah, this person's thinking about it. They're burdened. They're afraid to get their heart broken. They got some earth in their chart possibly as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're looking at this whole situation, thinking of all the details somebody's ready to maybe make you an offer to take you out they're going through the details trying to do this in a practical manner so this could very well be a uh, another person capricorn it doesn't even have to be you they could you could have a taurus virgo capricorn coming towards you uh, who's thinking about all the details thinking of making you this offer to, an invitation but you it, what they're thinking of is that you get lots of attention they're burdened by it so they're taking a long time Whoever they are, they don't want to get their heart broken. But they're really anxious. They're very much, uh, very stressed about that. But they are going to come. It's just taking them a long time to get grounded and be more practical. Working through all the details. Somebody's working through the details of an invitation. Where to take you, what to do. Okay. There we go. Knight of Pentacles, there we go. Yeah, this person feels like there's no hope. Things have been going too slow. If this is a reconciliation, maybe it's been a long time since you heard from this person. Maybe you broke up with them and they've gone through a lot of changes or you have. And they feel like it's taken so long that there's no hope. Or maybe you feel that way. Yeah. Somebody has regrets for being so slow. This is what it is. Somebody's been moving so slow to come towards you. They're worried that it's too late. Okay, Ace of Swords. What's going on with this Ace of Swords? Yeah, this person wants to win. They want to come in and speak the truth. They want to win at all costs. They're trying to figure out how to get this victory. They want to win. 
Um, but they feel like there's no hope because they move too slow. Or maybe they have to take a relationship slow. Maybe that's what they want to talk to you about. They need to go slow. Traditionally, they like to go slow. They're worried that that isn't going to work. Okay. So they're anxious. Tell me about the high priestess. There we go. Yeah, this person's going to talk to you about their feelings. This person may have had secrets, kept their feelings. They have sweet feelings for you. They just kept it to themselves. This person's a little bit shy, but this could also be you talking to them. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, going from the prince. So it's going to start slow. They're a little apprehensive about sharing their feelings with you. They really like you, okay? This person really likes you. And it's taken them a long time to come forward. So they're going to they're a bit apprehensive. They'll they'll tell you that. They're going to tell you that. But they will level up eventually and get their emotions under control, okay? For some of you there could be a few tears here and there. But I feel like this person's going to tell you they just kind of, yeah, they're going to share their feelings about what's taken them. I think this person was may have had a lot of burdens, a lot of um, responsibilities. They're putting an end to them, ready, and they're having success. So maybe they were waiting to have more money. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. We got the King and Queen of Cups here now, do we? And there, and then here again. So I feel like some of you are going to share your feelings with this person. This is trusting your intuition. Somebody kept their feelings secret, but it's coming out. Somebody wants to, if it's an ex, they want to be forgiven. Okay, they want forgiveness for not sharing their feelings with you. Um... Some of them are just going to share their feelings at what took them so long. And I feel like money was an issue. Uh, and they had to leave somebody else possibly too. All right. Tell me about this princess. Tell me about the princess. Yeah, temptation. This person's going to tempt you with some sweet words. You're going to be very tempted. Or some of you may be tempted to share your feelings. And some of you might be tempted to cry. It's a temptation. You're going to hold that back. You're going to get your emotions under control when this person comes forward. So it's a reconciliation for some, for sure. Yeah, tell me about the Seven of Swords. This person really wants to win at all costs. They want this victory with you. Yeah, they want this new beginning. They're going to expose everything to you eventually. They really want this new beginning. So it's... Wow... They're worried that you've moved on to someone else, this ex, okay, that you've gone through a change and that uh, you're getting attention because it looks like some of you are very popular. Tell me about the Five of Cups. This person regrets moving so slow. They're going to tell you that, that they're sorry it took them so long. Okay, I'm going to ask to be forgiven. So maybe you've met somebody, maybe you had a reconciliation with someone from the past and things were quite solid between you and there was a commitment. Something definitely happened here. Yeah. Tell me about this temptation. Why is the temptation here? There we are. Uh, yeah, tempted to expose all your feelings and put it out there. Tempted to make a rash judgment. Um, somebody here, we got some Libra energy now. Somebody is exposing all their feelings. They're going to be tempted to expose them all, but they're going to get their emotions under control. Whoever they are, they're going to be quite emotional. Or this is how you're going to feel when they come towards you. Okay. We have the King and Queen of Cups. There is love here. This is two people nurturing each other back and forth, very balanced with their love and their emotions. Uh, it's very caring and very sharing. It's like you both want it. Yeah, but I do feel like there could be another person involved in here too. Yeah, somebody else is moving towards you. They're coming and they're coming fast. 
but very much afraid. Okay, let's grab some outcome cards. So you know when this person connects with you, they may... You'll hear it in their voice. They're going to be very emotional, but they will get it under control. Um, there's a temptation here to just like pour it all out, but they won't. They'll make it clear. So they're going to, yeah, the, you're going to have a decision to make with this person. You're going to be tempted to have a reconciliation, but there's a decision you'll need to make. And one of them is, is to make sure everything eventually is exposed, okay? It's like this person is somebody who kept their feelings hidden for a long time. And it's taken them a long time to go through this process, this change, to come back around, to, to put it out there, to expose them. That it's, yeah, it's very, very difficult. They are going to try to tempt you by saying sweet things as well, I feel. Or you're going to be tempted by it. So take it as it resonates. Yeah, life is speeding up. Something is going to move very quickly here, Capricorn. Okay, I hope I did say Leo. Some of you, it could be a Leo coming towards you. It could be really any sign. Um, just like I say, if you're a Capricorn, be ready. Yeah, rebirth is assured. Somebody wants a reconciliation, or you're going to be go through an ending and have a new beginning uh, in your love life, most definitely. Rebirth is assured here. Things are going to start speeding up. There's probably going to be a quick communication. Yeah, somebody's making you an offer. They're going to lay a solid foundation. Somebody wants commitment with you. You will be the one to make the final decision. Okay. Yeah. Be loyal to what you love. So what you want, it's telling you, is to make sure this person is loyal to you first. Okay. And you need to be loyal to yourself first. But yeah, I think there's some love here. I think this person actually is loyal. Yeah. Just set some healthy boundaries about all that, about loyalty. Okay. There will be some boundaries here. Because you're the one making the decision for this ex, but it, it, to be honest, this person feels very bad for taking so long to come forward. And uh, they feel like there's no hope. Too much time's gone in between. They think you're with someone else. So keep that in mind. If they contact you, they're going to be a little bit of an emotional wreck, I feel. But they will, I, they may shed a few tears, but get it under control, okay? Watch how much that tempts you. All right, go ahead. It's actually saying let this person expose everything. They're they're tempted to just pour it all out, but they're not going to. You'll you'll decide. Okay, Capricorn. Wow. Yep. Healthy boundaries. There needs to be commitment. Things need to be solid. There needs to be loyalty. So this will become solid and grounded. It's a lovely uh, a lovely reading. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves. Comment away and let me know. Uh, this reading is going to be good for the whole month of January. I want to make sure lots of people get this positive vibe because if it's not happening, you can manifest this, all right? You can manifest this transformation. You need to get out there. Every reading so far is about getting out there and communicating. You know, go out for drinks, go to social events, music, whatever it is that you will meet the kind of person you like, go there a lot. They will approach, okay? It might take them a bit of time, but they will, okay? Take care, everybody. Bye for now.